I should warn you that as I've been busy, I've been paying attention to the most active area of the site. It's probably gained about 10,000 posts in a week. It's gotten millions of views in a week. It's so fast and, and moving so quickly that I've opened up a new chat for it. Um, the the fish tank stuff is is real. It's it's bussin. I don't know what to tell you. It's it's straight up fucking bussin. However, I've been very busy. So while it's been going on, and I've been having to deal with the fish tank as an entity on my website, I had not watched any of it. I barely. I the one time I tuned in, it was on YouTube at the time, and I heard the. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. And I, it was just playing over and over again, and some dude was playing with the toy. So I posted ooh, ee, ooh, ah, in the thread and posted a hamster. And uh, everyone was like, oh, my God, he's a Josie sump. My sirs, all of those women are stinky monkeys. I do not sump for any of them. And I regret tuning in for three seconds and posting oh, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, in the thread because apparently I gave everyone a wrong impression of myself. So I have not seen any of this. However, I have been seeing people talk about it all week. So what you're about to see, keep in mind, is the impressions of Fish Tank and my understanding of it Strictly as a non-observer and observer of the thread, so I'm like a, a degree of separation from it. Do not become enraged with hate and anger towards me if I misremember any details. Um, now, I will actually I will give you an an, an impression of how I think Fish Tank is, what, how I think it's going, and what it's like. You ready? So, um, in this, in this scenario, <laughs> by the way, I, di I reduced that by like six decibels. So imagine what I was listening to. Okay. I tried to reduce it for you. In this scenario, Sam Hyde challenged them for $1,500, uh, to sit in this room and stay in this room for, and to not leave for any reason. So last person standing gets $1,500. Fifteen hundred dollars. This resorted resulted in um, John, a, a man who is mentally handicapped and, and cannot pronounce. I think L sounds. He said or, or R sounds. He says this has this has been fact weighted by a true a true American patriot as true a true. So he talks like that. And he read, and whenever he becomes, he's autistic. Whenever he becomes overloaded, he starts reading the Bible to calm down. And it appears, from what I, this is my understanding of Fish Tank, based on how I've, I've read the thread, the the house is divided in these in these categories. You have Sam Hyde, who runs in and acts silly, and then you have a couple guys in in like 
um, shape costumes, like with a mask and stuff, and or like the the pink guys from uh, Squid Games, and they come in and they they fuck with shit like in a very juvenile sense. They just make things like stinky with like stinky sprays and stuff. Then you have Jet, who is like Sam Hyde's henchman. He's not like his co-worker. That's that's Nick Rochefort. Jet is like. He's kind of like a simpleton. He's definitely like if you imagine like in a cartoon, you have like the the big guy who's like the brains, and then you have like the henchman who's kind of like a dummy. That's Jet in my head. I don't know how accurate that is, but he comes across kind of like a, a simpleton follower. So Jet every so often comes in and cleans up the house to keep it from falling apart entirely. Um, and then inside the actual contestants, you have. John, who is uh, uh, apparently the main character that everybody loves. He's the one with the, the most actual character. You have the three women that um, people thirst over constantly. And they are ranked A, Josie, B, Letty, C, Sylvia. Uh, Josie is autistic and therefore mentally handicapped needs feel like she's the most attainable. Um, so they simp for her the most. Letty is... I think Letty is gross. I think there's porn of her covered in shit or something. I don't know. I've not looked for this. I don't want to see it. Don't at me. And then Sylvia's fat. And fat women are objectively held in contempt by basically everyone. So even though the fat girl is probably more obtainable than Josie, um, she's fat, so nobody cares about her. And then you have the remaining contestants who are, uh, they have no character and no impact on anything that happens around them, and they're just kind of like side characters that nobody talks about. In particular, there's one guy called Moro, who apparently um, is useless. Oh! That's not true. Okay, there is a little bit more to it. There is, like, Moro. Nobody cares about him. Um, and then there is Demille, who everyone hates, and he was kicked out for sneaking in a phone... And then he came back. Morrow left, but he left after Simmons was out. Okay, this is important. This is important to the story of how this is going. Um, Simmons is chinky. I actually thought that Simmons was Josie every time I saw him because he's like a he's like a Chinaman with really long hair. And I thought, oh, that looks like that looks like Josie because they got the chinky face and the long hair, and he's effeminate. And it took me a while to figure out they were they were two different people, and, and Simmons is a man. Um, he he was uh, Letty dressed him up as a girl, and he really enjoyed it, and that creep Sam hide out. And then people found out that that Simmons had written a guide on how to hit on underage children as a camp counselor. And when that came out, Sam Hyde got really pissed and broke in and smashed everything up and called him a, a pedophile freak of nature and told him to get the fuck out of his house. And he did. And then Morrow was very startled by this. And he was upset. And, and everyone thought that maybe he had something to hide, too. So he also left. Now, again, I have not... I've seen literally none of the show. So I, I am merely re telling you what I have ascertained secondhand, trying to keep my side up. I, I could be completely wrong about all of this. I could not even... Maybe I don't even know their right names, but this is just what, I'm, what I <laughs> can conjure from secondhand memory. Uh, I've been told in chat my, my summary is ass. Morrow just wanted an excuse to leave. There are people disagreeing with me. Morrow was Simmons' roommate, so maybe that's why he wanted to leave. Uh, okay. There, there, there are different... <laughs> I got the names right now, but just... <laughs> There's a wide disagreement on if I'm actually recounting things correctly. Morrow was fat and boring. Morrow regrets leaving already. Okay. Um, look, I'll, I, <laughs> my chat's trolling me so hard. I, I don't even remember. I don't even know anything about Vance. Okay. I think Vance won. No, I don't know. Okay. I don't know anything. Forgive me. Uh, no, I would like to reflect on the, um, on the, the three girls. Cause this was posted right before my stream. 
This is a compilation of posts from the Kiwi Farms in regards to the women. Uh, this is Josie. She is an actually Indian. And when people found out that she was Indian, they became very upset over this. Because apparently the fact that she looks chinky as fuck is not good enough. She has to actually be Asian for, for whatever reason. Being a Native American does not actually count. Um, even though... <clears throat> sorry. Even though she looks like a girl from a horror movie. Like she's about to like break her neck and start going... That, like even though she looks like a horror movie monster and and acts like one and is uncanny in real life uh she she is apparently not okay for libertarians okay um there is no point in okay these are quotes there are, there is no point in living if i can't have josie stimming on my penis and eating my cum as she plays with her fidget spinner it's so over and I actually I banned this guy from the thread because for like a day, and I gave him a warning because that's so fucking gross. I was like appalled that someone would post this in public. Uh, he says, "Trad wife Stimmy Queen is safe and thriving, so I'm heading to bed. I've burnt all of my candles at her altar today. Need to grab more in the morning." For those wondering, jo Josie is showering. She's n stinky be gone. And then someone says, it's so over Josie sells because he wanted her to be stinky. Doubly punished snigger says, BPD pussy is the best pussy. It just comes at a price. I know this will sound excessively base, but can someone link me clips of Sylvia farting? It just dawned on me today that since this is a non-stop live broadcast, the female contestant submissions will have been broadcasted in full. I can fix her. My scat wife is ovulating. <laughs> oh, and then here's like weird gore. I think this is from um from Letty. She drew like anime like torture of little of like people's intestines being pulled out. I don't I don't know if this was Josie or Letty. Which one is this, chat? Is the, is the weird Goro anime shit from the, the chink native, or is this from Josie? Okay, Letty just, Letty just rolls around in her own shit. That's okay. Uh, she will be my little squaw. I've never even heard of a squaw as like a pejorative for a Native American. Trad wife Josie brought the chili fries and wonderful looking salad. And it's just like, it looks like shit. And I think that's Sylvia, who's like a fat OnlyFans whore. Josie fans, Josie sells, stay winning. Enjoy this original content. Do not steal. That's not so bad. That's like nice fan art. That's not as weird. I think that's a picture of Letty sucking on someone's toe. It could actually be Sam Hyde's toe. What do we know? Oh, Josie actually drew this. Okay, thank you, chat. Um, I think this is in reply to the toe-sucking picture. Good skin, cute nose, innocent heart, pure soul. I said uh, in the chat, said, all these girls look like they stink, have standards for God's sake. And Fluoride Huffer said, but Josh, they stink in a good way. Danko Gerg 2, who is the guy who keeps telling me, Josh, please don't say the Lord's name with, with the F word, uh, said in the start, I would so bang the fat chick. So I don't know what this Serbian man is doing in his day-to-day -day life where he feels this is ne necessary to post on the internet while also protecting my my streams from saying the Lord's name with the F word. Um, but he should reevaluate. Convulsion Swell says, Josie's small outbursts of mimicking violence are adorable. If she's somehow faking autism or actually a training, I'm going to permanently be traumatized by the betrayal. Josie is a mix of two anime girls. Kill yourself. That is so embarrassing that you would post this. Like, well, imagine, I will, okay, look, if you can, even, okay, shame on him for even posting this. But if you can look at these two, like, generic anime girls and know what the fuck that means, shame on you. Shame on you for even knowing what he's talking about. 
For real. No cap. Um, that is another picture of Josie. There was some conspiracy that she's actually a man. Fluoride Huffer. I think Fluoride Huffer shows up in this collage like eight times at this point. Can someone send me a link to the Brat Pogs nudes? For research purposes, I am not a black man in search of a white BBW. This is another picture of, uh, of Sylv Sylvia. Guma Tora says, Josie bros stay wooden. She has nothing but stim and be cute. Little empty hemmed dummy. Jummy John is a wee totted. Daniel Demille is a big gay baby. None of the matter except Josie. Vance is cool though. That is a picture of Letty with Sam Hyde. I just want to say there's probably a near 100% chance that Sam Hyde has fucked all three of those girls already. So keep in mind, you're, you're thirsting over Sam Hyde's sloppy seconds. My girl is spinning. My girl is winning. And then there's a, a picture of her in a, in a chair. I think it's animated. Um, wish that DDR machine was my balls. So he wants his balls stomped by... By Josie. Um, God damn, that bitch got a fatty. I was very tempted to try and commission some fart customs for her just for, to post here for your reactions, obviously. But it turns out she quadrupled her subscription price within the last 24 hours. And then it's a picture of her OnlyFans. J Jaws Balls says, can someone repost the Letty nude in this picture? I haven't seen her tits yet, just her hairy asshole. Imagine seeing someone's hairy asshole and be like, yeah, I gotta see it from the front, too. <laughs> maybe, maybe it'll even out the score. All it took was one white woman to ruin society. Oh, okay, so there's a, a thing that they're doing where they have to take care of, like, a fake baby. I'm not sure how exactly the scoring works. It's never been explained in any of the posts. But the fake babies cry, and I guess Sam Hyde has some way of, like, measuring their head trauma. So Letty was shaking the baby, and everyone got very upset at this because it means that she's not a good trad wife, as opposed to the scat porn sucking on toes. That would make her a good trad wife. Uh, she's an ugly freak, but also very, very sexy. It's annoying being so attracted to her. And then there appears to be a, a horror monster like the Babadook uh, directly below him posting this. I don't know what the association is between this picture of the Babadook and, uh, and Letty. Uh, sex game made by this user based on Fish Tank. So I guess he's making a sex game based on the, th the three girls. And then there's more anime shit. That's fucking embarrassing. I actually kind of regret reading this now because now people are going to do it even more for fun. I, I've asked people, I've formally asked people to stop. You can post on TV. Though, I've heard, though apparently a lot of people on the forum are like hiding from the 4chan thread about Fish Tank because uh, they're like posting child porn in that thread. I, I don't know if it's like someone protesting f uh, the presence of Fish Tank on TV by posting child porn and trying to get the threads deleted, but that's happening and it's being talked about. And so the whole event really just a, a, a collection of well-rounded individuals completely sane and uh, everything's going smoothly according to plan. Um, how long is this? This is 20 minutes. I'm not watching all this. Maybe I can watch just a little bit of this. Legendary. Anybody else? Well, I got some reading I could do. If you want to hear some reading. Oh, he's going to read the book. No. I just keep <laughs> excerpts. I keep excerpts of books that I like. On my phone, I'm not a freak. All right? I mean, here's... I put... This is something I saved as an inspiring quote. There was a counselor who worked for a camp decades. For decades, everybody loves him, but he got fired because he offered drinks to underage girls and allegedly raped her. Here's how to do it the right way. And I don't know, what is the right way? What's the... How, how does that... Where does that go? You don't know either? Uh, it was a while ago. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Did you say it was a while ago? No, the, the, I don't think I don't think that's my book. It's probably a hacker. Here's the well. Sexual harassment warning, like every culture there are customs when you hit on boys and girls. So does camp counselors who work at camp nowadays are mostly college kids from all over the world. Of course they would expect a romantic experience. You gotta do it the right way or you might get fired. What's that referring to? This is as awkward as I imagine this would be. my curiosity. That piqued my interest. It made me wonder. Questions cropped up in my mind. What's this picture of this like uh, 11 year old says into long Okay, he's just grilling him with his own book. I get it. Though I don't know. It is a little bit of a cure. Do I even want to. Let me, let me do a poll. Let me do a poll. I'm a, I, I, will, I will be able to hold my tongue if the poll does not go this way, but we'll see. Should. I talk about Marky. Yes, no. Who? We'll see. So that my <laughs> Oh no. Keep watching. Okay, I'll keep I'll play it a little bit more. That made me go boom. What the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck's that noise? For counselors, be nice, be polite, be the big brother of everybody else. Be a bit naughty. If we're gonna like, I I can't play listen to this and and like play it and all because it, I need like the, the specific moment that I can clip on stream. I get it. He's reading the the book that Simmons wrote to him, and Simmons says that it's like out of context. Okay, this is Marky. Um, I don't know the full story to this, but I'm going to have to learn it soon. This is what's been spread around about Sam for like literally uh, years and years now. And you can't bring this up to him. I've been told that in the talk, the text of speech, the mods will yank anything about Marky um, if you bring it up to him. This girl, from what I understand, was 16 when he was with her and he beat the fuck out of her and i've heard complaining stories that this is like a skit or something or that uh 30 more seconds i i, I swear to fucking god who are you no spit you are banned from this chat if this is not funny in 30 seconds <laughs> who's throwing up This is actually like hell. <laughs> hell. Okay. Yeah. Hell. Kind of like something. Oh, man. Well, Simmons, allow me to say something that you'll understand in your language. Okay. Translation I'm kicking you off the show. Okay. Effective immediately. We'll be walking you out, taking you to a bus station in Fall River, and saying goodbye. Okay. You have one and a half minutes to get your shit. Uh, okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Can I say a send off song? Yes, please do. You can put the baby down also, Simmons. He just said that you're out, and he's like, okay. Like, come the fuck on. Okay, you interrupted me. I was gonna say that he beat the fuck out of this chick. It's debated whether or not he did. But if he's like upset that this guy is like grooming camp kids, what is the difference? Is the question. And people get upset if you bring this up. And I, I don't know. People get upset when you challenge their e daddies. And I am, I, I think Sam is funny, but I don't understand the the 
the moralizing is uh okay i'm gonna mute you it's just I, I want to know I want to know the story about about Marky because you can't you can't ask him about it because it gets swept up. My libertarianism is showing what? Yeah, it is. I, it is real. She's obviously bleeding, but um, I from what he says. A lot of the murky stuff is just, okay. So he has, he has two different women who've claimed that, he, that he's impregnated them. I think they've both aborted it because there's no evidence of any like court proceedings in regards to it. There's another chat log where he's talking to someone on Facebook, basically saying, "I'm gonna ruin your life unless you cut my name into your skin," and she does. Um. I wasn't actually planning about talking about this, but now I, I, I'm thinking about it. So, I don't know. It's just like a lot of weird and fucked up shit. And whenever you bring it up to anybody who's a Sam Hyde fan, they simply deflect and say, well, he fucked a lot of BPD bitches, and now they're, like, coming after him with all these lies and shit. Well, it's like, why is he fucking around with a bunch of BPD women? <laughs> they got trolled. I'm curious, um... Well, if people would even care if Sam Hyde beat and seduced 16 year olds would you care yes no or uh no there doesn't need to be a third option here we go I'm just curious like what what the uh if anyone would actually even care in general oh my god I'm surprised that two thirds of people say they would care you'd like him more <laughs> I know that Lieutenant Corbis or, or Soph or whatever did a, a, a video about this but I've not watched it I might have to depending on there's there's like five more weeks of, of fish tank so, um, I guess at some point, if I ever get a second, I'll have to look into it more. I stopped caring at 18. She's 16. Woman got pranked. I think in this picture, she was 16. He's 29, she's 16 in this picture, from what I remember. Perfect age to get gunted. Okay. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.